It's Dave Johan once again for Punch Out Boxing. Please be joined by Gully Powell, who makes his Wasserman debut tomorrow night live on Channel 5 in Telford, not too far away from, you, from your hometown there. Yeah, yeah, literally 20 minutes away. I just can't wait till I get in the ring tomorrow. Just going to sort out the way in, get in the ring tomorrow and do the business as always. It's going to put a relentless performance on. I mean, you picked up quite a few more fans as well following the uh, the impressive win over in um, where were we over in Wolverhampton, in fact, at the halls over in November. Um, getting a bit of limelight now, aren't you, Gully? Yeah, yeah, definitely. This is what it's all about: just building my name up, building my brand up, and I'm just going to keep expanding and just keep winning fights, and that's the main thing. Hopefully, we get a title fight at the end of this year, and we just show people what we're about. You know what I mean? But yeah, like I said, relentless performance. Just tune in; you're going to enjoy it. Has uh, has it been fighting well working with the with the Wasman group so far? Has it been a good experience? Yeah, yeah, it's been great experience. As you know, it's a big platform. It's Channel Five. You know what I mean? Some big title fights going on. I just can't wait to get in the ring. That's the main thing for me right now. Get this way and sort it out. You know what I mean? And just get in the ring, do the business, show these guys why you know I'm a relentless fighter and why I'm going to win so many titles in the future. We we, uh, we we spoke a few weeks ago. I think it was last week. But over in December, uh, the channel Punch Out Boxing, we had you as one of the prospects to watch out for yeah. in 2024. I think the British Board of Boxing Control for the Midlands also uh, nominated you for an award as well. Was it good just to get nominated and being up there with with your peers? Listen, I should have won that award, man. If anyone knows what I did last year and stayed active. You know what I mean? I'm an active fighter. Even when I win titles, I'm going to stay active. You know what I mean? I'm just going to keep winning. And But yeah, it was it was a great, obviously, I appreciate the British Board of Boxing, you know, nominating me for the award and stuff. You know, I'm just going to move forward now. And that's the past now. I'm just going to move forward, keep getting the wins under my belt, and we'll get some titles in the future as well. And just very finally, before I let you go, because I know you're dying for a burger or some kind of food, <laughs> something like that. Uh, we know what weigh-ins are like. How do you see the main event going down? Do you think Sam, Ag Sam Aggington can be a, a European champion and get that accolade? I think he's a good fighter, man. I've watched him uh, fight a couple of times on TV. He's been around for a long time, you know what I mean? But I think he, I think he's going to go unanimous decision, 12 rounds for him. I think it's going to be a back and forth fight, but I do think he's going to win the fight, definitely. Stuff. Well, you're all the best, mate, from Punch Up Boxing. We'll catch up with you tomorrow night. Um, Rashid will be in the house and uh, hopefully get that interview with you. But uh, yeah, you take care, mate. Thank you, mate.